Welcome back to Jesse's Barbershop. I've made some adjustments to the space. Come on in, let's check it out. Welcome everybody, welcome back, welcome all newcomers. I'm gonna start off by saying that if you guys have been subscribed to the channel, you'll be familiar with my studio set, which is where I do most of my talking head stuff and have made most of my videos up until this point. But for those of you who might not know, and it might be a little bit my fault because I explicitly say after all my videos that this is not a real barber shop and I'm not a real barber, but I do cut hair professionally still. I've just been doing it from home. And I've always kind of had my salon set up and my filming stuff separate. And I kind of like that, but I figured I mean, why not uh, kind of consolidate the two to save space and also just uh, up my game a little bit. So that's what we've done here. So I think I'm gonna give you guys a quick, uh, a quick overview. So first of all, obviously, salon chair. We're gonna be exchanging this for a barber chair because I've had this for many, many years now and it sucks. Salon chair, obviously, full length mirror because I like that, it's fancy. We've got this Husky toolbox, which was really expensive, but it's kind of what cool barbers do, so I thought I'd give it a shot. All my clippers, cutting stuff in here, guards, brushes, combs, blah, 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 all that. All my outlets, so I can plug things in. And of course, the barber side. I got all my products that I use on myself and some of my clients here as well. There's the barbershop sign, big D20. And yeah, this is kind of where I cut hair and make my money. But what I think kind of makes this space cool, and I think what hopefully you guys will appreciate, is now I've turned this into an all-in-one filming hair cutting system. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, we got the old workhorse. It's a Sony a6100. This lens I do not ever use for my videos, but the one I use for my videos is currently on this camera. So a6100 with a Sigma uh, 1.4 aperture, 16 millimeter. And if you have a Sony and also have a YouTube channel, highly, highly recommend this lens. It's what I do all my talking head stuff on and a lot of my other shots as well. So it's just a good overall system to have, but got myself a shotgun mic monitor sitting on a tripod. And the reason for this, the reason I have this all set up is obviously I have two cameras, this one being used and um, this one as well. They're both Sony a6100s, but this one does not move. And that's kind of what I, uh, what I have set up because I don't like moving things around and unplugging stuff. So this camera does not move and this is what I use for kind of a, more of the movement-y or handheld kind of stuff. But as you can see, we have a shotgun mic on this camera here. We got ourselves a DD something something on a boom arm attached to my Zoom H4n Pro which is the audio receiver. Because the intention, ladies and gentlemen, and I think I mean, a big part as to why I've decided to kind of turn this space into something a little bit more practical is with the intent of kind of expanding the content and throwing a little bit more fun into the channel and the types of videos I make. What I'd like to do is sort of bring people on and hopefully have them sit in this chair with this shotgun mic pointed directly at their mug and maybe get some videos of me actually cutting people's hair, which I still do, believe it or not. Last couple things here, I guess, before we get into the coolest part of the new space, Focus. We have our little chill space. We got a black leather couch in classic barbershop fashion. Got TV, watching Vikings right now, because this is kind of like my office too, right? So I do a lot of my chilling in here, and then our, me and my roommate shared living room with the Jesse's Barbershop famous Mona Lisa painting. Uh, that's always creeping in the back of my videos. But what I'm most excited for is this back here. Now, before I had made this change, my editing space, so like my office, my studio where I film things, and my barbershop station were all in separate rooms, very disconnected. But now, not only do I have my barbershop and my filming setup, I also have my editing station right here. So let's take a look. So this is what I got going on. It's nothing fancy, but I do have access to, you know, quick access to, you know, camera, boom, into the computer, which is down there. I don't know the specs of this computer, so don't ask, but it can run Warzone on 140 frames. And obviously right here, I'm currently editing this video. This, what you're watching right now, is gonna go right about there with some music and some overlays and maybe like a boing sound effect or something. But we got the dual monitors, everything we need. But more importantly, and this is kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about, is I have some plans to maybe potentially start doing some YouTube live streaming for either styling my hair or when I have clients coming in who are down 
just to kind of diversify a little bit and I think it might be pretty fun. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea and make sure you drop a like if you want to see this type of stuff going forward. But I missed my weekly posting deadline because I was getting all this stuff done and we've been super busy with other stuff around the house. But if you want to make things easier for me, leave a suggestion as to the next video that you guys want to see, whether it's a styling tutorial or a hair breakdown, leave in the comment. The thing that gets the most upvotes is probably going to be the thing that I do. So feel free to do that. It really helps me out. And speaking of helping me out, I'm not just going to randomly ask you to subscribe. But what I will say is if you have been watching my videos and you've been following along and coming across them here and there, and you realize you look down to the little bottom right corner of the video and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, maybe just do that because I mean, if you don't want to watch the videos, you don't have to watch the videos, but it helps me and the channel more than you know. So I'd really appreciate that. But major point of this video was just updating you guys on the new space and kind of what I've been up to and hopefully uh, give you a little bit of insight as to the future plans I have with Jesse's Barbershop as a whole. You guys have been really cool. Subscribers are rolling in, views are coming in, comments, discords popping off, which if you haven't joined that yet, please feel free. But yeah, I guess last thing would just be to say hi to my dog. Hi, Bo. You want to be on the YouTube video? Good girl. That's it guys, hopefully I'll see you soon. Hopefully I'll be able to come up with another video that I can uh, get out to you guys. But in the meantime, I got some haircuts to do, so I'm gonna stay busy. But uh, we'll hopefully see you in the next one.